So please excuse the fact that my shelves are still pretty much empty. Uh, that took a back burner, but I am here with a really exciting video. At least it's really exciting for me today. I finally made my own TBR game. Sarah Hearts TBR Bakery. Yay! Um, I had a lot of fun putting it together. The actual game is kind of pretty heavily influenced by other TBR games, especially TBR Starhop from Stephanie's Book First. I'll link her channel and her game down in the description below. Um, you can check it out. Hers is a lot more polished than mine is going to be, this first game especially. But yeah, I had a lot of fun making the board and making the prompts and playing the game because I already did the rolls. Uh, so I will give you like a quick overview of the board and also I will kind of go over gameplay and stuff. I'll try to keep that quick because I'm also gonna include the actual gameplay and like my March TBR in this video. So let's not make this super long. Okay, so uh, on the board there is a mixer and that is like the let's bake start spot. So that's easy, that's where the game piece will begin. And then on the board there are six donut spots. Those are the easy prompts. Um, things like, let's just pull a couple of them, a book from my TBR cart or, you know, an audiobook. So they're kind of like more loose prompts or easier prompts to fulfill, hyped book, stuff like that. Um, so there are six of those on the board and then there are five cupcakes and the cupcakes are kind of like the more mid-level prompts. They're a little bit harder to fulfill, um, but still pretty doable. So those are things like, oh, they're also kind of game, gamified prompts more. So one is husband pick, uh, last letter, first letter. So the last letter of the last book has to match the first letter of the next book kind of thing. Um, nonfiction. I don't read a ton of nonfictions. So that's in here. Over 400 pages. So just stuff that's kind of more mid-level. Next, there are four cake spots. Um, and those are harder prompts and challenge prompts. Those are things like Wayback TBR, something from a TBR between 2019 and 2020. So that would be like going back to like when I first started my booktube channel, looking at my TBRs from back then and picking a book from those if I haven't read something. Um, roll a D8, even number I move forward, odd number I move back. So that's more of like a gameplay one. That affects how the game goes. Um, TBR vet, so that's a little bit different than the TBR, the Wayback TBR is from like 2019, 2020. The TBR vet is just anything from the past that I haven't read yet. Uh, low rating book or unhaul project book, which are obviously books that I'm slightly less excited about. So those are the kind of like cake prompts. There are three coffee cups on the board and those are for um, coffee breaks. So we're baking, we're doing our thing, we're fulfilling our order. And the coffee breaks are the spots that are like, oh, we're ahead of schedule, like time to take a break kind of thing. So I don't pick a book if I land on a coffee break. There are two fish cupcakes <laughs> on the board and that, for no particular reason other than the book that I got the images from. It was like a kawaii coloring book and that was the only thing that was like baked good that was kind of disgusting or like that I could use for something that was kind of it. So that's why they're fish cupcakes. <laughs> so if I land on a fish cupcake I have to roll the die and move back that number of spaces. And inarguably the ugliest spot on the board right now because it's the one spot that I'm not completely finished with is the burnt batch spot. If I land on the burnt batch spot, I have to go back to the beginning. The entire batch is ruined. Like you completely screwed up. We got to go back all the way and start completely over. Um, if I land on that spot, I do have to keep the books that I've already picked out. So it doesn't like like completely start over fresh, I still have to keep the books and just start playing again. Okay, and then the last spot to talk about is the end spot. And for that, when I land on the end spot, I do have end spot cards. I didn't make a ton of them, um, but there are some good, some bad, some mid, just to keep it interesting. And for those, 
it's things like this or that, and that is a higher or lower with a d20. Yeah, so for this one, you pick a book, pick another book, this one's lower, this one's higher, roll a d20, and then roll it again. And if that number is higher than the first number, you read this book. If the number is lower, you read this book, that kind of thing. So it kind of takes the choice away, but you still get to choose the two books. So I mean, I think maybe I'll do like one that I'm less excited to read, one that I'm more excited to read or something, but I don't know. Um, then we have like remove a book. So that's one less book I have to read. Um, punishment next month if I don't finish TBR. So as of right now, I'm not planning on doing punishments just because I know I'm really bad at sticking to TBRs, but <laughs> I put that in there just so there is a little bit of a possibility for a punishment. I think that's it for rules. Um, I tried this with two dice, like two six-sided dice, and I got it to the end in like two rolls. There's only, I think, 22 spots on the board. So I'm going to be playing with one die. I didn't have anything in place for if I rolled doubles or anything. So um, that doesn't really make a difference. And I got a really decent amount of rolls with the, with the one. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. Um, yeah. And as for the baking theme and the bakery theme. Um, I've mentioned before on my channel, I actually manage a bakery as my full-time job. So hence the bakery. And I just, I love baking. So baking and bakery themed game just made sense. And like from the beginning, I kind of knew I wanted to do something with baked goods. I just wasn't sure what or how. So that is the game. Let's get into the rolls. Let's get into the books that I'm going to be reading for March. Roll number one. Four. It is a cake. Steal a book. For roll number one, I landed on a cake and it was to steal a book from someone else's March TBR. Um, when I was filming this or when I'm filming this there aren't a ton of March TBRs yet but I did land on something um in completely Melanie's cards against my TBR for March she got sent a book and she decided to read the first book in the series I guess it is um I've already read that one and then she also put the second one on like later in the TBR so I will be reading um Four Aunties and a Wedding by Jessie Q. Sutanto. I read um, Dial A for Aunties last year and I really enjoyed it. It's kind of like a funny, cozy mystery romance type. I don't really know how to classify it, but I've heard people call it a cozy mystery. So that's what we'll go with. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. I already got it from my library. So I will be reading that in March. Roll number two. One. Good progress. That is a cupcake. random number. So I have to pick 10 books and then put one through 10 in a random number generator and read whatever book comes up. For roll number two, I landed on a cupcake space and I got random number, pick 10 books. So for this one, I picked 10 books, I stacked them up and then I put one through 10 into a random number generator. I generated a number. It gave me the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that was The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I actually just recently hauled this book. I just bought this book at Savers when I was there with my husband not too long ago. So it's about two twin sisters. After growing up together in a small southern black community and running away at age 16, it's not just the shape of their daily lives that is different as adults, it's everything, including their racial identities. Many years later, one sister lives with her black daughter in the same southern town she once tried to escape. Across the country, the other secretly passes for white and her white husband knows nothing of her past. Still, although separated by many miles and just as many lies, the fates of the twins remain intertwined. What will happen when their own daughter's storylines intersect? I heard a lot of people talking about it a couple years ago when it came out. I heard that it was very good, so I am excited to pick this up. Roll number three. Six. A donut card. Okay, so I have to pick a fantasy romance. 
Roll three landed me on a donut, and those are the easy prompts, and it was just a fantasy romance. So for that, I picked These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. This has been on a few TBRs before. Hopefully this will get my butt into gear to actually read it. This, you are following Brie, who is trying to save her sister from the King of the Unseely Court, and in exchange, he sends her to the Seely Court to do things for him. I'm not sure exactly what. I'm going to find out when I read it. But this was my pick for roll number three. Roll number four. A five. So it's a high rating. Roll four got me another donut and that is a book with a high rating on Goodreads. So for that it just has to be above a 4.0 and so I picked Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in the Second Era Mistborn series. I have owned this for quite a while. I got it for $2.99. <laughs> haven't taken the sticker off but I have not read it yet. I really loved the first era of Mistborn. I read that a few years ago and I'm excited to continue and also I believe the last book in this quartet just came out so it's a finished kind of series I guess in a way um so yeah let's start it they're short they're a lot shorter than the regular Mistborn books I believe although I think the last one is getting a little chunky but I'm excited to read this I'm excited to continue I know a lot of people said it was not as good as First Era but you know it's Brandon Sanderson, so it can't be that bad. Next roll. Three. Yay, it's a coffee break, so I don't have to pick a prompt. Okay, roll number five. Roll number five got us a coffee break, so we did not have to read a book. We got to take a little break. So right into roll number six. And four. That brings us to the end spot. So I just have to pick one of the end spot cards. And that is a spinner wheel. Okay, so roll number six got us to the end spot and that gave us a spinner wheel. So what I did is I made a spinner wheel with a few other random prompts on it. I gave it a spin and we got next in series. So for that, I am going to pick Well Traveled by Jen DeLuca. This is the fourth book in the Well Met series. Um, I bought this in December. I wanted to read it in December. I wanted to read it in January. I wanted to read it in February. Maybe March will be the month. So this is on the list. This series takes place in a small town in Maryland, Virginia, somewhere in like the Middle East Coast. Um, and it takes place around a Renaissance fair that happens in that town every year. So I've been really enjoying the series. I like it. I can't wait to continue. So that's it for my first round of TBR Bakery. I am so excited about this game. I can't wait to see what you guys think about it. Um, let me know if you think I will read my TBR now that I have a fun way of picking it instead of just, you know, the TBR jar that was getting a little stale for me. Um, I'm excited about these books. I'm excited about Four Aunties in a Wedding, which is the other book that I picked. And I'm excited that I only got five books the first time. I didn't hit any like crazy spots. I didn't have to go back to the beginning. I didn't get a fish cupcake or anything. So it was nice to me for the first time, for the first playthrough. Uh, hopefully that continues, but it would probably be a little bit more interesting if I hit some of the, the bad spots. We all like watching each other suffer over TBR games, right? Is that just me? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've read any of these books, if you think I'll like them, if you liked them. And yeah, again, just let me know what you think of my new game. I'm so excited to keep playing it every month. And that's it for this one. I will see you next time. Bye.